guys leo tuko hapa uh, tuko na Edgar Odiambo freelance journalist na tuko na Susan Eliana we wanna talk about uh, challenges zenye wa Kenya wana face uh, wakishafika hapa Gulf na wacha kila mtu aseme ye ni nani tutaanza na huyu kijana mnaona hapa katikati twende nalo guys Of course to my amazing people my name is Zed Godiam a freelancer journalist from Nairobi Kenya and uh, yeah it is nice also guys coming here and interacting with the, uh, these amazing faces eh? Hi guys I am Mkopoa chaledi hapa Kila challenges zenye mtu upatana nazo akifika Saudi sana sana ukiwa mgeni Ana kwanza tunaanza na Edika atuambie 1 2 3 kwa sababu amekuwa na hizi cases za Gulf anajua kwa hivyo Edika karibu sana Okay thank you thank you thank you sana Ivana Okay uh, the first uh, reason uh, the first challenge mimi naona ni kubwa sana is uh, uh, kuna hii story ambayo somebody akishafika like let me just give you an example Uh, when people are traveling sindi kumekuwa na issues mara sisi airport imefungwa there are restrictions now uh, because of lack of information unapata watu they are basing their facts in lack of you know i don't have uh, information wona based to facts zako like uko hapo you base your facts on what is not even existing unaona and then most of our ladies ni kwamba i think uh, ile pro- like you know the procedure ya kutoka hapa maeneo za Kenya kuelekea these other most of the Gulf countries there is a, a procedure to be followed and most of these procedures what was is ingat now the challenge starts from the airport the moment these ladies are traveling unapata like watch hata mimi nazasema kwamba when uh, we want to uh, kuangalia zile challenges we don't really need to look at uh, the challenges wakati wameshafika uh, come come back angalia exactly wakianza huku unaona msiana ametolewa huko interior this lady happens to like ajaenda shule like uh, you know when it comes to communication the language barriers i, I think uh, it is a big challenge now anapelekwa apeleku shule umesikia anatolewa hivi because of time na mduzi anamtaka very fast anawekwa tu hivyo kwa ndege anapelekwa now it's become a big challenge where by now the, uh, first of all kumekuwa na ile you know uh, mambo na language barrier yeah Unaona? So the moment anatoka hapa the only language anajua ni Kiswahili kidogo ili kuchanganya changanya and some of the mother tongue language eh? which is uh, I think uh, now that was the, the basic ile anajua kabisa. Now the challenge start from here. So first of all sasa anaenda the other part ni kwamba pia if that guy ama the sponsor atakuwa anaelewa English but si sana some of these arabs waelewi english sana so communication barriers whereby now unaongele umekosa umekosa you want to express yourself and how will you express yourself yet hata kiswahili ama english aujui you see now that is the biggest challenge you guys need to know exactly that language barrier it starts up up a kenya somebody ana these documents somebody has not hapo uh, yenda shule unaona the language barrier start from here now the first mean as a sema kwanza ni kwamba we have language barrier yeah Susan Mimi sana sana nadhani ni kuelewana yes shida ya language ikiwa pale but pia kuelewana unaweza kuja upate nyumba mibiko na watoto kuelewana na watoto itakuwa ngumu sana kama ujui kwanza lugha yao yes kwa mzazi unaweza jikaza uongee mbili na mikono but kusikizana wale watoto inakuanga shida ingine kubwa sana juu watoto wa Saudi si kama wa Kenya so mtu akifika huku kitu ya kwanza huko unajua unakuja kupatana na challenge kubwa ya kudeal na watoto watoto kama umekuja kulea mtu mzee au kulea mashushu ujue tu utakuwa na shida kubwa sana kuelewana na hao watu ingine ni vile una address hao watu like uh, wezi kuja huku unaita mwarabu wako, wako na jina yake And then this wa Kenya wengi atujazoe ile ya kuitanga like boss mwanamke madam atujazoe hiyo kitu <laughs> inakuwa ngumu sana mimi kwanza kwangu ilikuwa kama shida kuita mtu madam pia kuitika ile umeitwa like Susan unaitika ha ama yes kitu kama hizo unaona huku ukitika kitu kama na nyingi tu umemkosea heshima so hiyo kwa mawasiliano sana sana inakuanga na shida communication vile una address hawa watu vile unawajibu vile ile unapendekana na watoto hizo ni vitusumbua watu sana na pia na depend na asira za mtu ukiwa na asira zako mingi utakosana na mwarabu haraka tu pengine amuelewani juu ya lugha yako ni tofauti na yake 
Alafu kikasirika haraka wengine wana reacting haraka pia kikasirika. So ya yeah, hiyo kuelewana nao inasumbuanga sana. Ah uh, okay ah uh, meanwhile kuna kitu ambayo you guys I think uh, mimi obvious mimi chenda kuongelea most of these uh, things ambazo naziongelea I think I've come across them na naisi kwamba we need to talk about them because the moment you talk about them inaweza kuwa ni usaidizi sana we guys we are giving out to the society and to our ladies who are also uh, uh, are, our ladies who are also planning to you know travel to the middle east wacha niwaambie kitu moja we have some people ambao wanajitakia shida kuna wasichana wa, wale ambao wanajitakia shida you know like unajitakia tu shida let me tell you something unaenda aje una fake uh, yeah, death certificate ya babako eti babako alishakufa yet just for you to travel unasikia somebody ana fake sambuk death certificate eti babake alishakufa anataka ku travel tu kwenda Saudi ama 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 Qatar ana fake documents oh. kwamba babake amekufa the next of king anaandika namba hata hii exist ataki anataka tu kwenda and kuna wale wasichana pia wanajitakia shida when you want to travel why can't you just be open to your relatives or uh, those people ambao wako closer to you so that you just get uh, they get to understand exactly mtoto wetu anaenda wapi most of these people wanadanganya watu oh i'm traveling to turkey yet the destination anaenda saudi anaenda syria anaenda qatar anaenda lebanon you see but akitoka nyumbani even the parents wamemkubalia wame kwa sababu wamesema kwamba anaenda wapi anaenda taki now the, the doubting thomas is like you know the family now will start doubting the moment utasema kuna it oh mom niko na shida like nataka shida mnisaidie niko saudi ah huyo si mtoto wetu mtoto wetu wako taki and they will stand with that mtoto wetu wako taki yet at that time unataka usaidize wazazi wata kukana imagine wanakukana kwa sababu wanajua oh Susan anakuaga mtu kweli we know that ako uh, akotaki nyinyi mnataka kutudanganyishia ah basi sometimes wanafanana msichana wetu wako wapi akuta tanki we have come across such situation mzazi anapigiwa na mbwa mtoto wako kwa hospitalini ako ako, ako amelazwa amelazwa Saudi ah anaambia wewe mtoto wangu wako Dubai kwanza anacheka ana ana smile na wewe you you take like a whole mom like, trying to to tell this mother that hey, mtoto wako we are telling you the truth mtoto wako anaambia nyie ndeni mcheze huko bwana you guys mmetumwa hapa mnataka kuja kufanya hizo vitu zenyu wenye mnaibianga watu we are trying to inform the, the parents wanakata a span of almost one month kama unajaribu ku explain mzazi umwambie what is happening no? so i think uh, some of our ladies wapi wanajitakia gashida but But pia pia na naonanga na, na, na cha zingine zenye upata mtu pia ni watu watu wenye like umekuja huku kwa mgeni lazima kuna tule tushida tushida juu maybe ujui kupika chakula zao sometimes utashautiwa cuz maybe umepika vibaya utashautiwa maybe au arabu anajua kuongea kwa sauti kubwa maybe mwarabu ataongea sauti kubwa utakasirika then wale watu unapatana nao maybe ukijoin groups groups nyingi kuotosha wasana sana unapata someone is telling you ah toroka huyo mtu wako ni mbaya kuchochana you see hiyo kuwekwa pressure toroka ukuje huku nje sijui boss wako ni mbaya au watu ni wabaya watakucha kuua baadaye ama watakuwekea sumu kwanza sana sana wasichana wengi wako wageni wanaambia yango ah toroka kwa hiyo nyumba utaekewa sumu kitu kitu yeah. kama hizo So hiyo ndio shida ingine wasichana kupitia like hiyo kuchochwa sana na watu huku nje pressure wanakuwa nyingi sana kwa social media and sometimes utapata msichana ametoroka akiwa mgeni ajui ruga like ajui ruga ya huku ajui anything like ajui anything about Saudi then amechochwa akatoroka so shida yako ni pia watu una, unaingiana na wao sana ma advisors wako ukifika Saudi ni vizuri uangalie if unakuja kuwa mgeni ni vizuri u, like u, hata kama ni ma groups za WhatsApp ujaribu kukata ma advisors wengi ujaribu kukata and mimi nadega mtu kama unakuja kuwa mgeni in case of anything usitafute usaidizi kwa mtu wako nje like kemboi siwachuki lakini sipendi wakipea mtu advice wakati ameingia kwa shida kwa mgeni Cuz first of all wanakuambia anga kimboi. Wao wanakuambia utoroke juu watapata pesa. Ukitoroka utawapea pesa lakini hawatai kujua from there utaenda aje. So naambia anga mtu ukifika huku ukiwa mgeni either you utafute ofisi, ukisikia umeshindwa kabisa tafuta ofisi, maybe vitu kama hiyo lakini kutafuta usaidizi kwa mkenya mwenzako eti juu wako huku wako nje. 
inakuanga like kujiingiza kwa shida zaidi Okay kuna kitu pia nimefikiria and you guys you need to uh, have it ni kwamba Mhm. Uh-huh. Yeshara, the moment I open a business or the moment I have like a source of a capital like I have a, a source that I get some cash from, I'll tend to look for any means to make sure that uh, I get a certain coin from that uh, point. Now, the, my point is uh kuna wale madala like we have the uh, these uh, madalala yeah these dalala yeah uh, these people mm-hmm. also i think they are playing a vital role when it comes to you know uh, exposing our ladies to miss some of the mysteries and suffering because you get uh, like ah oh, watu ni watu ambao wanafanya biashara you see they are like now doing another business because the moment anajua uh, if i happens to kutoa pale ni kuleta hapa ni kutafutia kazi i know i'm going to get some cash eh? and yeah. they are there for money now they will look, they will look for any means uh, you know the moment umesema tu ta oh umeambua tu nitauliwa unamkimbilia ah huyu anasema anga atanisaidia atanisaidia pale pakuka you see usha make one call asha kutumia taxi usha hepa you see ushaenda umekana yeye huko etio because oh nini nini yet you, you don't know exactly that these people they are after business these people are after that coin eh? the moment wewe unafika huko that's why i'm telling you even though uh, uh, the government will try their level best also to, you know to eliminate this kind of you know uh, yani kutafuta njia uh, yani ya kutetea wasichana wetu but still we have our our own individual our own kenyans who are also exposing our ladies to these mysteries and suffering because the moment a lady happens to oh kumwambia oh ameka tu uh, kitu kama uh, kitu kama 3 weeks ya mwambia oh kuja eti niko na shida na kutumia taxi eh hapo mm-hmm. nje hapo nje kuja hivyo you, you now you see yet wewe unaenda unaenda hivyo you don't know exactly because some of these people naweza sema because i've heard of issues i've heard of cases some of these kadamas yeah, uh, some of these uh, dalalas they are like they are hostile yeah siku ya kwanza wanasemaga siku ya kwanza mgeni akiharibishwa mkaribishe siku ya pili eh yeah, bado hapo hivyo siku ya tatu unampea jembe now oh, this yeah. is what happened to the other time yani the other side kuna watu wamekuwa exposed you have been exposed to an extent that now you are being exploited you see ulikuja kama wewe ni mgeni mpole mtu ambaye ni mcha Mungu umekuja siku ya, siku ya kwanza wewe the main reason wewe uko hapo unatafutiwa kazi but now it it may reach a point that there is no work totally there is no work somebody is now telling you the only thing you can do mimi lazima unilipe what you need to do huyu akikuja na like somebody you guys you know you go with this guy you go with this guy so that i get that coin you know vitu kama hizo and we have heard of them mimi siwezi wadanganya guys hapa kwa simu yangu zinakuja mimi kuna story kuna story nilipewa dm freelancer uh, nakumbuka nilikwambia nitakwambia uh, nitakupea story hiyo dalala so kuna msichana fulani alinikujia although sahi ya deportation alikuwa na miezi nane saudi vile alifika kwa kwa mgeni alipatana na hizo challenges za kwa Mwarabu awasikizani apeleke ofisi then uh, this one lady a Kenyan lady akamwambia kuja nikukalishe huko uje nikutafutie kazi vile alifika huko uje ni dalala kwa miaka tisa Saudi akamweka kwa nyumba ikakuwa that kazi yenyewe haipatikani hii kazi ya nyumba ipatikani akamweka mwezi wa kwanza wa pili then hii mwezi wa pili ukienda kuisha huyo mwanamke akamwambia you must pay your bills lazima mtajilipia bills zenu juu nimechoka na kuangalia and of course mtu uchoka so vile alifanya ni kuwatafutia wanaume pakistani that anawakombolesha ni kama unakombolesha anawapeana anawaambia prepare yourself someone is coming to pick you ile kujitayarisha unakaa unaona kipakistani kimekukujia driver walikuwa ma driver za msichana akafanya hiyo kitu twice anaenda kula na pakistani apewi pesa juu pesa already imepewa huyu mwenye ameweka kwa nyumba then wakati huu banda anaenda kwa nyumba hawaruhusu kutoka nje because anadhani watatembea huko nje wa mexpose sana maybe ya shiko yeye so anaacha kama kufikia kwa nyumba so you see au au dalalas ni wa Kenya wenzetu but wanatesa wa Kenya more than ni Arabu wanatutesa hmm? like wana kupitishia life ngumu life ngumu kabisa so huyu msichana mimi nilimwambia siku moja ile siku yenyewe amenda amenda na pakistani akirudi akarudi na driver mwingine akasimamia kwa barabara then akajishikisha kwa polisi hivyo ndio amefika amefika deportation bado aliacha wasichana wengine kwa hiyo nyumba akifanya hiyo kazi ila tu aezi wa expose juu kwa hiyo mwanamke na aezi juu akiwa expose watafanyiwa nini next so hapo hapo tu hapo kwa mwanamke 
wakifanya hiyo kazi ya kukomboleshwa kupeana wanarudishwa kupeana wanarudisha hivyo na ni mkenya mwenzako anakufanyia hivyo that is in human mimi niliwaambia if you have mwenzako anakufanyia hivyo mimi niliwaambia if you have proofs nitumie proofs and i am going to I show the world what you guys you are doing because the moment wacha niwaambie kitu moja mama mtu ametoka hapa ameenda kupambana and now the worst part of it somebody is taking advantage of uh, this uh, kind of situation kwa sababu anajua kwamba you have nowhere to go you have no work yeah. ni kama sasa anataka aone aone kama you know this is like uh, you are you are a god you know and you see you see freelancer huyo huyo mwanamke yeye yeah, anapeana wasichana kwa wanaume but yeye mwenyewe ako na kazi actually afanyi kazi ya kujiuza afanyi hiyo kazi anafanya kazi ya nyumba na yeye kazi yake ameshikilia cause hiyo msichana aliniambia huyo dalala alimwambia amekaa kwa hiyo nyumba almost miaka mbili na miezi kadhaa so ameshikilia kazi yake kwa nyumba but nini wengine mnapeanwa mujiuze hiyo ni pesa ya haraka yenye anapata na waweze kusave ile yake So unatoka huku nje unapata like ni kama unatumika tu unatumika na mtu unachoka jasho yako inasaidia mtu mwingine then unatumiwa vibaya na ni mkenya mwenzako kila wewe unafanyia kitu juu atakutupa nje au na any any gas au juu au juu ya kiarabu have declared have declared that uh, mimi nice podanganyi me sometimes also it's good to tell people the truth kwa sababu some of our our ladies pia wasipate wazijipate kwa hizi shida because i think some of these people kila mtu anako kwa biashara let me tell you something how watu wote wako nje hapa everybody is after money i can talk about ivano hapa tatrini she is after money somewhere anafanya kitu fulani apate pesa wewe pia hapa sometimes unapambana mahali upate pesa some all uh, and even me i'm doing something to make a living now Basi niwaambie kitu moja. Yeah. The moment is taking advantage of that kind of uh, uko kwa shida and now this person anaona ni kama this now are opportunity let me take it like an advantage yani unaona ana take that advantage eti oh uko na shida. Acha nita yeah. acha nichukue shida yako sasa ikuwe 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 like a, a source of income to me. You know? Like mimi yeah. naweza sema uh, I've, I've heard of so many people wanalia wanasema kwamba uh, they are being like uh, they were they were they were into it they can't leave it unasikia kwamba wasichana wetu wanatafuta wana watu wanaume kwa sababu they wa, wanaume wanaweza kuweka wanaweza kusaidia na uh, like kuwasaidia ku pay bills unaona unasikia yeah. yeye the only people ana depend kwao sana ni wanaume because if you are a lady lazima utafute mwanaume uh, akuta yani akulipie bills that is the perception of most of our ladies ambao wako maeneo yani wako nje like uh, they have kemboid wanakaa nje wataambiwa wewe endo tafute endo tafute mtu endo tafute endo tafute boyfriend who boyfriend akusaidie kulipa bills eh because mimi hausi tafalisha uh, most of wana tafanga wanaume juu juu mwanaume ako na papers anaweza kurendia nyumba second ya kutafuta wanaume ni juu line zao za simu anaweza trackiwa anytime so anaweza nunua line kama leo na kesho aitupe na kununua hiyo line inahitajika pia id so ni mwanaume atakubaia that's the reason wengi wanaweka wanaume mimi let, 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 let's try and also mimi lazima sodanganyi it's if that is possible nitakuja na zile list i think nitachilia list kwa wale watu wanatusumbua sumbua wasichana aina haja mimi aina haja i can imagine if somebody like my mom sasa tuseme my mom is going through that kind of hell situation somewhere or my sister somebody is taking advantage of my sister and i'm tumia hivyo just because of her selfish gain and do you think mimi mimi kama mimi I'll, I'll, I'll feel that I, i'm proud of what is happening to my sister is like now my sister ana anakuwa subjected to suffering is uh, to for somebody to just gain me 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 spend totally it pains me mimi hata if you are not my sister the moment you are just a kenyan or you are you are from like kadari niongea kenyama then they take care of watu wageni watu wageni watu wageni mimi sikudanganyi Catherine let me listen first before talk uongee wageni 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 unanga mgeni akiingia Nairobi anaambiwa atakaribishwa Nairobi do you know the meaning of karibisha nani karibisha mgeni Nairobi this now is another saudi chukua 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 Nairobi kama yani chukua Nairobi kama saudi sasa utakaribishwa saudi kuna madala ya kuna hao madalala watataka kukaribisha 
utakaribishwa na maneno the insights of different people from different type of, type of groups we have people who have wali, wali, like how wali 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 inasemaga wana, wana they they have lost hope hawana hope ama kuna mtu wako kwa shida anataka kutafuta mwenzake pia waingie kwa hiyo shida wakuwa watu wengi unaona watu watu guys if we guys we are there to hustle ama kufanya nini let's look for a, a better solution kutoroka is not always this i kwa solution imagine you are like a, an alien in a certain country yeah when you are alien because if you are caught you are there like illegally wanaenda they can do anything to you unaona sasa hizo waseme etio mambo guys i have a story that i've never shared with you i have a story and i've never shared with you mimi ni mtu ambaye most of the time mtanipata maeneo za airport hata leo mtu unipigia uniambie nini i'll be there kuna story of a certain lady she was dragged ame amekewa madawa mingi amewekwa mpaka naangalia kesi yake kwa interpol i even had to communicate the first time nimeenda nime, nime kiambu hapo kwa hapo kwa nini there's a, and I, even i interacted with these people at dci the first time mm-hmm. ukijaribu tu kusaidia mtu mimi over here the first thing you call me i mean was you go for something if i'm i'm there to question because these are the government premises i'm allowed to access i'll go and ask them this and that that lady in rudi kenya soon if possible but aja kuwa aja recover she had gone through hell or even wewe ni size like you can uh, you know like uh, digestion kila kitu nafanyika poa you guys una release everything yeye yeah, yake yeah, is a bit different with the kind of condition yeye yeah, yako yeah. unasikia metal is like somebody anaenda 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 ana, unasikia like yeye yeah, anatoa tu harufu ya metal hata akifanya ha harufu unasikia kwa mdomo ni ya metal shona zile chuma ile metal sasa yeah kuna ile ile, ile metal the, that is what now this uh, lady imagine amekuja kenya it's all about now medication medication hata hata ukiangalia blood yake hadi uh-huh. even the doctors walikuwa na kuwa shocked which kind of drugs was this lady alikuwa akipewa hata hmm? ningeongea and a good friend alimpeleka huko mimi sizo danganya good friend alimwambia tio ni siindi kwa boyfriend wangu kufika kwa boyfriend wake wanataka walale nao wawi yeye yeah, akakata kukata kwake walikuwa sawa ndaka ku I guess pia kitu kingine nasumbua hawa ah, wanawake wakikuja huku pia kutoroka mimi siku hizi naona kutoroka ni kama ni sawa tu toroka lakini kwa nini usifanye kazi ili kuleta huku shida inasumbua wengi ni hizo minguu sasa like kufungua anytime kufungua anytime hiyo ndio shida inasumbua wengi hiyo shida hiyo tu unajua vizuri sana ujaji protect unajua tu serikali i to protect sisi sasa sioni vile ujiekele mimba uambie serikali ku protect and yet you can't protect yourself sasa tutaibika you have to protect yourself first then uambie serikali kusaidie Mm. Unajua sasa hii edika mtu wako kwa contract akuja hapa aseme niko na mimba. Tutapiga kelele kwa social media. Ju tuko na evidence tunasema mtu wako kwa contract alirepiwa. Sasa mtu wako huko nje wakati wanatoka huko wana party, sijui wanafanya nini, wanatupostia tunaona tabia wanafanya. Sisi tukiongelea mambo ya huko nje tunaongeanga because wanatuonyesha. Mara wakipati, wakipigania wanaume tunaona huko kwa media, wakifanya nini, tunaona everything. Mm-hmm. Even some of them will just go to the shop and buy shisha pot then ana kupostia. Na sisi ni kitu hiyo kitu mtu amejulia huku. Ile siku alikemboy ndo alijua kutumia shisha pot. Jua aliona kwa mwarabu wake hiyo kitu ikitumiwa. Tena waanze kupata. So hizo vitu wanatupostianga at the end unasikia mtu ako na mimba. Ungekosa kupata mimba aje kama ulikuja kukuwa mlevi. Si hata Kenya mwanamke akiwa mlevi mlevi anapatangwa na mashida mashida hivyo. Yeye anakuwa kina mali. So wengi wanajileta hizo mashida. Like mimi Edgar niko na rafiki yangu. Kuna this lady. I don't know if uliona huyu demo mwenye alitrend kwa tuko juzi. This Catherine siji kama unajua unajua mwanamke, huyu mwenye alitrend akiwa na kasitana kama Arabu, anafanyaka content na kasitana kama Arabu. Mhm. I don't know if you saw that lady. Quick quick, you know that lady ni Kemboy. You know that lady is a Kemboy. And nobody knows Yeah she's like a kemboy na hakuna mtu anajua. Sasa hii alitoka kwa hiyo nyumba kwa nyumba nyingine. Wewe mwanamke akitoka kwa 
story yake ni ni kali sana akikupea story yake kwa nini alienda kukaa kwa dalala ako na story nyingine kali aliweza kwa nini alitoka kwa dalala sasa hivi anafanyaga count akitoka kwa nyumba moja anaenda kwa nyingine na atokangi kwa nyumba unless marabu ako na sababu it's either marabu yake ana travel ama wanaenda mahali awahitaji kufanya kazi tena even vatatoka na auto hiyo muona akipati na hakuna mtu anajua kama yeye ni kebu because amejiweka life nyingine mzuri sana but wengine he, wakose kulewa wanikuja alafu ni pombeze nyazi ile hata ile ile changai inapikwa Kenya unajua hii changai imepikiwa kwa choni chafu kuna kunyo chafu unajua kuliko hii changai inatoka Ethiopia but hawezi ataka kuambiwa so hizo ndio shida zingine hata serikali ikiangalia zile vitu watu wana wengi watu wengine wanafanya Saudi na wote wanafanya ni wale watu wageni wageni wametorokeshwa watu wageni wageni watu wageni wageni wanatorokeshwa so zile vitu wanafanya hata serikali ikiangalia na shida ah tutasaidia hawa watu waje na wako na time ya kupati serikali saidia mwarabu atupatie nafasi ya kupumzika mwarabu anatupia kasi mingi then the government will be like ah tunaona kwa social media mki dance tunaona mkienda party tunaona mkifanya hiyo kazi mingi mnapewa saa ngapi hmm. so pia sisi wenyewe huku tunajaribia sana hmm. Uh, Edgar hebu mm. aongee kuhusu salary na kuhusu climate salary na climate Okay umejua tulikuwa tunaongelea tunaongelea challenges eh Now when it comes to a salary I want to say this eh When it comes to salaries eh? kuna 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 watu first of all people these people ambao wana wanapotosha watu kuna watu ambao wanapotosha watu wewe ukiwa Kenya uh, uh, the, the so said ama uh, these kind of agents ambao wanakupeleka huko amekwambia oh wewe ndio kufanya kazi and uh, your salary inaenda kuwa a certain amount of money amekwambia like sikizo wanafanya promising like they are promising you a uh, 12 1200 real unasema okay that's good that's good that's good let me let me go hadi wametafuta contract flani wakakuandikia eti you sign this una sign unawakishia imagine eti una sign eti uko sawa sasa eti even i have signed imagine una sign kitu kiwachaka kwa hiyo ofisi hapa ya Kenya ukiendaga nambua hii tutatuma huko kama document like tutatuma huko you see uh, i'm telling you something eh mimi uh, when it comes to uh, like kujua exactly what is happening imagine that's why wacha nikwambie kitu moja nyinyi kuna ile time niliwaambia i need an agent ambaye ako genuine a recruitment agency ambayo iko genuine nataka wanipeleke training nataka wanipeleke medical alafu after kunipeleka medical nataka tuachane hapo tunirudi kwa wangu ni kalala nobody is willing to do that 100% nobody is willing to do that that proposal nime propose to, to almost i think three three agency hapa Kenya wataki hata story ya medical wataki hata kunipeleka hata training pale wasitano napelekwa training the main reason why there are so many things that have been hidden utapelekwa hata training wameandika hapo sijui na kuoga sijui one month ama nini utasikia umepelekwa huko a three days unaambiwa traveling so they are trying to minimize the cost kuwekwa pale kufanywa hizo shughuli zote they are trying to minimize the cost wanataka kufinya pesa yet there is that certain amount of money unafaa kufanywa na hizo shughuli now the moment umetolewa hapa ushadanganywa at your salary inaenda kuwa 12 like 1200 real unafika the other side umeanza kukosana na boss wako you as the first like mengi tu hivi the first mshahara umepewa ukapewa 900 ah si ah si kuna document ile sign pale 1200 now the moment wewe uh, ulisha ulisha tiga mind yako and uh, your mindset ni kwamba you are you, you are supposed to be paid 1200 Tuani 1200 real. The moment unapewa 900 unadhani utaendelea tena kazi. That is the first the first uh, shock itakupiga and hapo uh, from hapo people switch their mind. Ah yeah yeah, huwa ameniambia. Na waliniambia nje kuna kuna pesa mzuri mzuri. Huyu ananipea hapa nilikuwa unaona? Now that is a, now becoming a big challenge. Unapata watu wanakosana tu bure. Mtu anataka kufanya kazi vibaya kwa sababu analipwa pesa kidogo. At ya hapo mimi sikuwa i sign I never signed it yo. Nafaa kulipwa 900 ama 800. I signed for 1200. Why are you guys paying me 900? Unaanza ameanza mavurugu tu kila wapi yo akiongeleshwa hivi anaongeleshwa hivi. Ashaanza kupigia watu simu watu 20. Watu 20 sasa. But mimi mimi upande wa Sarali 
Yesu watu wengi wanachochananga kwanza kwa social media utapata mtu wako Europe anawaambia hapo vile mnafaa kulipwa Gulf and sioni si, si kwa nini watu mko Gulf mwanze kusikiza advice someone working in Europe hizo ni country mbili tofauti sana so mtu wa Europe akikwambia wewe ulipwa hii pesa fulani usipolipwa wewe goma kazi wewe mtu anakupotosha wewe mtu mtu mwenye ako Europe anakwambia Mwarabu anafaa kupea hii pesa anakupotosha aje yeah. anything about Mwarabu so pia we see what we sometimes easy advice tunafuata ni tuache alafu tena mimi nasemanga if hata kama umelipo hiyo 900 and then someone uh, somewhere else is, is getting like 1000 ama hata apate 15 ama apate 2k bora umepewa 900 yako na uko na amani hiyo ndio ile kitu tunataka huku like upewa tu peace of mind upate time yako ya kupumzika upewe freedom yako kiasi hapo ya kupumzika kuongea na familia yako hiyo ndio ile kitu tunataka huku kuliko upewe pesa mingi but hii amani ukose ama ufanyishwe kazi nyingine hapo kama punda mimi nasema hata nikipewa pesa ngapi bora niko bora tu nimepewa ile pesa nilikuja nayo kwa contract hata kama ni kidogo nitafanyia bora niko na amani and at the end of the day nitarudi kwetu nikiwa mzima nikiwa bado niko na nguvu juu sijakuja huko ongezea tamaa za social media nikasukuma boss wangu akaniongezea pesa yenye hakuna nikafanyishwa kazi zingine hapo za ujinga okay ganani amesema umeongelea mambo na climate change when we talk about climate tunaweza ongelea tunaweza ongelea weather in particular tukiongelea climate tunaweza ongelea weather tunaweza ongelea pia environment unaona now let me tell you something Uh, ukitoka hapa we have people mwenye kuna watu wako na shida you guys kuna watu wako tuna shida like somebody is asthmatic unaona ametoka hapa mtu ametoka tu hapa oh sijui alifa that's why hizi vitu za kukuku vitu which is ipenda mimi kuna watu wanakuka hapa results hizi mambo na medical mnakuka hapa ukisha cook mimi kwanza kuna kuna mtu kesho ama kesho kuto when i'm done with the what i'm doing everything is cooked up ile kitu inapimangwa tu kweli tunasema inapimangwa ukweli Tuseme tu ni ukimwi. Hiyo kitu ndio inapimangwa vizuri. Zingine they make up wana, wana create tu vitu. No. Unapata tu mtu so, ni asthmatic, amekuja, nimekuonyesha hiyo kesi ya msichana. Kadhalika nikuonyesha hiyo msichana mwenye alikuja huku na CS zake zijui tatu azijapona. So wana feature, wana cook up everything, unakuja huku na mashida zako za mwili. Mm. Hmm. Unapata hata mtu ukiwa na pesa unaweza lipa agent na kuwa na kudanganya wewe watu watu watu. Mimi hiyo mchezo sipendi. I've, I've listened to one nimepata moja and is, I think I'm also going to air it out so watu wajue that uh, we have people ambao wana cook hizi vitu kwa sababu I even had to visit an hospital Kiambu level 4 hospital just to confirm mm-hmm. with the doctor mwenye alisaidia msichana akaka akajua msichana kwamba alikuwa na issue now after that umtana kujua uh, alikuwa na issue before ende medical umesikia before ende medical akaongea na ule msichana mwenye anafahamu medical akamwambia akamwambia tuonge tuongea before uende uende hiyo check up imagine this lady had to uh, msichana ali, 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 alipata aje ku travel yet alikuwa diagnosed na akapatikana kuna two disorders alikuwa allowed how to travel with those two kind of condition now say easy the intestines and the wall the muscles of that the intestines up hivi you know akona inaitwa hernia i even try to explain that to me a video i've i've explained no, no, something that even me edgar nimesaidia msana mwingine akiwa na hernia but boss wake alikubali kumlipia alitolewa huko saudi actually alikubali kumlipia akatolewa huko alikuja bado akiwa nayo na akafanya kazi They... na ania yake ikiwa na alikuja ali, aliftibiwa kwa alikuwa na mwaka na miezi kadhaa so ilikuwa ishakuwa kubwa hadi tumbo inakuwa kubwa need a surgical we need surgical like ina kwa the, the only way to uh, uh, yeah. to uh, ku, nini lazima aende afanywe surgical now imagine yeah. somebody having that thing no more you easy cooler because the moment unakula when the intestines enlarge yeah. the, when the intestines enlarge ina sukuma that uh, muscles eh? inatoka nje like now you are you have like a protrude at uh, stomach eh? inakuwa inafura kubwa you see now that is alikuwa na kitumbo kikubwa so boss wake anakumbuka now tell me if boss wake angekuwa mbaya huyu msichana angetesekea saudi na ania yake angetesekea huko aumie huko lakini boss alikubali akampeleka akatolewa 
So na ndio nakwambia hizi agency hawafanyii medical kuangalia. Mimi medical wanafanyia mtu kuconfirm ni ukimwi. Jua najua kuwa na ukimwi utakuja huku upimwe tena na urudishwe. Kitu kama CS, kitu kama ania huko upimwi. Sa imagine. Watakuuliza Imagine. Imagine sasa mtu akuwe na hiyo hani and uh, happens that akona akona bado nini akona like ameenda ameenda hiyo that uh, that yes now the effect sasa imagine that effect sasa that muscle sasa ita, itakuwa aje you guys mimi mimi kuna vitu vingine there is certain condition mtu afai kufanya kazi zingine mwambie wewe kazi ya nyumba na ile kazi ya Saudi ya nyumba na hii nini yako hautawezana nayo if possible look for a commission utafutiwa kazi zingine ya maana but the moment tunapeleka you, you are being subjected to this kind of you know uh tire some easy cars in Africa like you know it requires a lot of labor it requires a lot of toiling ah mimi doubt i'll send for you that video you listen to what i've tried to explain about that hernia vibaya sana but the other thing the other thing to ongelele hapa ni environment we are here. We are talking about environment. Una hii climate hiyo tumeongelea climate now we have the environment. Hapa kuna watu wamezoea kupati 24/7 asubuhi mchana usiku Monday to Sunday. Akienda huko uh-huh. apewe akae one week kwa nyumba. Huyu amegonjeka. Huyu amegonjeka. Anaweza babebwa tena ambulance. Huyu amegonjeka. Akiangalia hivi aone whisky, akiangalia hivi aone keg, akiangalia hivi aone mira. Eh, hey, aki ali akando au ni wakupiga nayo mshene Mhm au ni mtu yeah. akudakua dakua ugonjwa inaitwa home sickness home sickness yake aishi kidogo kidogo tu anafikiria anafikiria keg anafikiria hizi uh, hizi Guinness hizo ndo anafikiria So sometimes you guys if you are there to sacrifice yourself you need to have that uh, yeah. Yes. Ingine uh yenye atuambia ngi before tutoke Kenya ni about family eh, nyumba za huko vile ziko. So mtu ukitoka Kenya uambia ngi that eh, lifestyle ya huko ni tofauti sana na ya Kenya. Like tuseme Kenya kuna mtu anaishi one bedroom ama two bedroom mm. but nabi ko bad tuzi manyumba ziko huku so uambi yangu unakuja upatane na gorofa mzima na ni wewe uko hapo ndani something like atupe yangu atu atuambi yangu ni kiasi kupe nyumba za huku ni aina gani kwa bunga atuambi yangu so ndio kitu yeye nasumbuanga watu sana unapita kwa mwaka na 3 4 hii nyumba yote kutoka juu hadi chini first second third ni mimi peke yangu niko kwa hii nyumba stress nyingine inakushika jua huku ambiwa nyumba za huku vile ziko hawakutuambia wengi tukisikia ni kazi ya nyumba tunajua anga ah ni one bedroom ama two bedroom zenye ziko hapa Nairobi tu nitaenda kufanya so hiyo inasumbuanga watu sana hmm. yeah Ingine yenye inasumbua watu kabisa yenye inafanya watu like ni kuvaa mimi kwanza dressing ilikuwa imenisumbua before kitambo nikijikubali na nizoe mimi kuvaa ilikuwa imenisumbua ilikuwa imenisumbua kabisa so ingine ni vile how you dress hiyo nyingine inasumbua mtu sana then hii kuvaa mabaya ukitoka nje pia inaleteanga mtu shida sana kitambo uzoe Mhm uh-huh. Alafu ingine ni ya insecurity unapata kadama mali wanalala uh, majority ni wale uh, milango zao sijui ziliharibiwa na nani so unapata kila time wakilala wakilala kidogo waiguru huyo ameingia unapata mtu ameshtuka anaamka usingizi imeisha kidogo kidogo ukienda kulala waiguru anakuja tena anafungua mlango Usingizi inaisha tena. Hiyo ni challenge nyingine pia. Yeah, <laughs> well, minor challenges now. Yeah, usingizi. Usingizi ya kupigiwa mlango. Umejua acha niambie kitu moja. Kuna watu wanazosema kwamba you know kulala mimi kwangu I think it is just a privilege I happen to sleep mimi. Napenda mimi most of the time I take my sa- time na kufanya if I feel like kuna kitu ananisumbua kile I'll try my level best to do research to do research. Wako napata sometimes na 2 hours 3 hours ikienda sana. Because most of the time mimi 
hautaniambia kitu saa hizi nisumbua kila and then I, I happen to sleep without even doing a research i'll do my research i'll do my everything yeah ona ingine ingine yesa inasumbua watu kabisa ingine yenye ni was social media social media ya yeah. unapata mtu umekuja huku some of us tumejulia tiktok huku tumejulia vitu na youtube like tumejua hizi mambo na social media sana tukiwa huku and then umepewa ile wifi ya bure utakuwa unapewa nafasi na mwarabu wako ukalale wengi wanapewa hata nafasi kuanzia saa 4 but mtu yuko saa kumi ako tu macho ako tu live za tiktok ako wapi hiyo nyingine inaletanga watu shida sana social media you keep yourself busy kwa social media and yet wengi wana complaining that mwarabu anipea time ya kupumzika sipewi time ya kulala some things like that na pia some of us tunakosa nanga na warabu wengi juu ya simu unapata mtu alikosana na warabu wake juu ya simu so ingine na support watu ni how to 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 handle hiyo wifi ya bure hiyo wifi peke yake watu wengi wanashindangwa ku handle kabisa unapata baadhi unajua some of us tunangoje kianga Saudi kusema kweli watu hawajai jua kama wengi wetu uko cheka juu ya usingizi some of us tunashikaka na mangojwa mingi mingi tukiwa huko juu ya usingizi unapata mtu ulali unapata tu mtu hiyo kila siku utalala saa kumi. kila siku saa tisa, saa kumi, saa tisa. then itafika time mwili wako itashikwa na mangojwa mingi mingi utakuwa unasimama hivi unasikia kizunguzungu unaanguka wewe wenyewe utaanza kusema tu mwarabu amenyekea sumu but maybe ni kulala ulali Hmm. Ama edek ama hii kuna bleed unaumwa na kichwa vitu nyingi but zote kila mtu anaekelea mwarabu but watu wengine hawajoi kama ni usingizi na waletezo mashindano kipindi na pia eh, another thing wakati mtu amekosa usingizi sana pia kidini zako zinaweza acha kufanya unaweza shikwa sijui na kidini failures vitu kama hizo ya kukosa usingizi kidini zinakwanga na shida so sometimes hiyo kizunguzungu damu nashikwa na kizunguzungu mangojwa mingi mingi jio kukosa usikizi that's why watu wengi tuna complain nyingi utaisikia mtu ametoka gulf anako amefika kenya tu ana complain either kuumwa na kidneys hiyo kuumwa na mgongo vitu nyingi jio usikizi peke yake kujinyima usikizi na yet mtu ako na time lakini wifi inakushinda kuhandle challenge nyingine ni edika ataongelelea about food challenge ya food ataongelelea edika my challenges i think mimi i think we have exhausted most of these uh, uh, major challenges and i think uh, if everybody is uh, listening to this I, uh, the other the other one the other one kuna kuna hii story ya like unajua mimi mimi na spend kudanganya watu mimi spend kudanganya watu i think uh, truth truth be told eh? kuna hii mambo na oh mnasema watu wajui kujicontrol wanaona 2 years lazima tu wasaidiane like oh they are, they are out there wanataka waende enjoy enjoy ile life ya you know being free interacting with these the, the other opposite gender yeah they need uh, the uh-huh conjugal right it is called the conjugal right wanataka eh? wachape wanataka kuchapa moroko wanachapa brazil wanachapa portugal no na wachoki guys hii kitu iko hii kitu iko if you guys ulikuwa na mentality yako the only reason why you went there is uh, to you know uh, provide and also you know make a living like you know guys kufanya kazi kupata pesa ya yeah? let it stick it back hivyo the moment tumeanza kufikiria mechi is like oh i need the conjugal right oh lazima nitafute eh, lazima nipige hiyo mechi ya portugal eh, lazima nifike kasarani nataka nipeleke kasarani naona vitu kama hizo the moment you guys start thinking the way hivyo hivyo ah mentality switched ukifikiria tu umeacha kenya free free country utatembea upate mechi kasarani unaingia mechi kasarani kidogo kidogo kwa nyayo una change tu una change tu inatoje eh, stadium I'm not going to make it the other side but you need just to fo- like what to focus unaweza ka you can chapa one year unaweza piga one year without even anything two years ni kidogo unaweza piga just have that fixed mind that wewe the only reason why you are in this land ni kwamba ulikuja kufanya kazi we have seen a lot of 
issues mwaacha nikwambie Catherine and Susan we have seen a lot of issues some of these people tend not to come online and explain to people what they have gone through alikuwa anatamani akaenda kajaribu outcomes ni kwamba akapatikana kona mimba and the unexpected no, there, there is something you people need to know kuna mtu akisikia like kuna someone nako Kenya but akisikia anaenda Saudi akili yake inagonga naenda majuu so uh, the, the moment ana sign hizo vitu anatafuta anako na akili tu anaenda naenda majuu i can get a white man to marry me vitu kama hizo so watu wengi ukiona mtu aikuja huku some of them wanakuwa na comment hadi tukafikia naweza oleka na white person because si kila mtu anajua tofauti ya mwarabu na na white men wengi huko anako ka akili ka and then kuna hizo story watu mtekona kwa social media oh cg fula mwarabu alifanya wedding na wapi kama hizo so kuja, the moment unakuja kwa nyumba upate kuna wanaume wengi hapo vijana you are like ha hapa naweza pata bwana na hapo ndio unaenda kutumiwa vibaya unatandikwa na hata wengine wanakurusha nje. Hiyo ndio shida tunakoanga nayo. We believe we believe sana that maybe mtu ukifika Saudi ni majuu na niliona fulani ako ako mali fulani like mtu ako country fulani kama Italy ameoleka na mzungu. Kwa nini mimi siwezi oleka Saudi? Vitu kama hizo. Okay, tukimalizia wacha niongelele hii challenge ya chakula. Uh, unapata mkenya akishafika hapa Kenya uh, apa Gulf kuna kitu inaitwa cubes. Hapa sana sana chakula za huku ni cube, mchele na makoron, makorona na indomi. So unapata hata hakuna green, unapata hata saa zingine wananyimwa wa, hawa watu wanaficha matunda zao, wanafunga fringe unapata mtu anapiga pasi pale lazima akunywe maziwa lakini friji imefungwa so hakuna vile anaweza kunywa kuna hizi madeto maditergents tunatumia lazima ukizitumia ukunywe ma, hiyo maziwa so unapata like mkenya um, kitamboa zoea hizo makubs na chai hizo mamichele makuku kila siku hmm? unapata ako na hard time Yeah. Mhm. Mm ugali lazima ugali muhimu eh. Most of this utaniambia mlio ata survive. Ugali toke wapi? Ugali toke wapi? wengi wanaanza kulia. Anaomba kuna, kuna mtu anaomba. Na kuna nini nafia kadhari nijasema that many people will be complaining that mwarabu wangu anipe yangi chakula. So The moment umefika Saudi jifunze kupika jifunze kupika mwarabu hakuna mwarabu atakupea chakula kama upiki wako hivyo hawajui kuwekea mfanyikazi chakula you cook for, you cook for yourself either upike na ujiwekee but au si expect mwarabu aingie kitchen na pike na kuwekea so ukifika Saudi learn how to cook kuna YouTube ingia YouTube tafuta video za kupika jifunze kupika ama wakati mwarabu wako anapika kuwa na yeye hapo taka sana ujue kupika you kama kupika utaishi kutupigia kelele kwa social media wameninyima chakula wamenipea mabaki na ni wewe kupika eh? so mtu ujifunze kupika Second, eh, second usikojange mwarabu ya kupeki and then usifiche chakula mimi kuna hita vya watu wanachochananga oh fiche ukakulia kwa room yako mimi spend hiyo kitu kama unataka kitu chukua kula imagine kuna time utakuwa unasafisha choo yako na huko mwarabu lazima atafika kwa room yako si wengi tunapiganga nguo pasi kwa room zetu Imaji mwarabu atafika akachukulia mtoto go then atapatana umekicha mashakulo kwa room yako sio ni aibu then utafanya mtu aanze kusipesa for nothing eh hata kama ameka pesa maji ya kubuke atasema ah huyu mtu ndio ameficha chakula kwa room yake so anaweza ficha hata pesa utafanya mwarabu aanze kukususpect vitu nyingi so if unataka kitu chukua kula ukionekananga hakuna mtu amependekwa kwa ofisi ama amechapwa ama amefanya kitu baju alikula so jifunze kukula ukiangaliwa usifiche chakula usifiche chakula mfundishe unakulanga usoesha mwarabu wako that mimi nakulanga sisi we are humans mfundishe mimi nakulanga kama ni matunda nakulanga kama ni maziwa kama ni food nakulanga usingoje mwarabu eti akishaenda ndo una, unakimbia kimbia hapo sipi kama nini ati ndio unachukua chupa chakula ukitafika ufule hapana and also 
Also, also Arab wengi they want us to respect privacy zao. Hiyo ndio kitu hiyo ambaye very important. Once Arab ameona unamkosea heshima kunguza nguza vitu zake. Hautaikuwa na amani kwa hiyo nyumba. Utafanya kazi mzuri utadikwa but you, you will never peace in that peace, uh, peace in that house. Ida umeenda kuosha bedrooms zake some of them siku hizi wanaweka tu cameras. You may think it ah hii bedroom yake haizi yaka cameras but wataweka asubuhi wakiamka. Si ni nyumba yao they control the house. Wataweka asubuhi wakiamka usiku wataitoa wakilala wataiweka wanaweza weka anywhere so the moment unaingia kwa uh, kwa bedroom ama mara baba kwanza kuvuruta vuruta vitu ukinguza uh, i think ilikuwa hii mwa, mwaka ikianza niona msichana alipost pistol eti ameenda kwa boss kwa bedroom ya boss wake akisafisha akapata pistol which is not good kama umesafisha room hata ukipata buduki haikuhusu wewe panguza na uiacha hapo kwanza mimi napanguzanga hadi camera juzi kwa huku kila mahali so napanguzanga na iacha hapo ile kitu kwa nini ah na hiyo iko nyuma yako ni nini hiyo ya white ama ni power bank kitwapi hapo nyuma ya white oh ah, ya kuna kuna camera lakini iko camera iko hii side ningeka ah. mbele yao wote wanione vizuri na kaanga mbele yao wanione vizuri na kaa aje wanione mkongo mimi si mimi naona hata wakisipoakisha kamera sometimes wana saa wingi kuhakisha mimi na akishanga juu nilizoeshwa ni kitu inafaa kuhakishwa kila siku na hata akiniuliza hii ni nini ndamwambia i don't know sijui ni nini but i know ni camera but juu nilifundishwa inahakishangwa kila siku nitahakisha na akiniuliza ni nini najifanya sijui ni nini jua inihusu the moment you reach na Mwarabu kujificha ficha you know the moment utatembea utatembea kwa nyumba ya Mwarabu kitafuta kitu kingine watu hawajuangi Unaenda kwa Facebook unaambiwa download app nyingine hapo ikusaidia kutafuta hidden cameras. Unasahau unatumia wifi yao kutafuta hiyo hidden camera. Hii wifi yao wameak. Any move you make lazima wanaona. So imagine uko tu kwa nyumba kama mchangu unatumia ukitafuta kamera nyingi kuhusu yenye uwezi ya Ford. Uko tu hapo unazunguka utafuta eh unajiletea shida nyata like shida unge afford tu. Ina kuna camera tuheshimu tu hizi manyumba zao vile ziko if kitu ulipata hapo achana nayo ikae hapo fanya ile kitu inakuhusu if ni kukula we kula ida kuna kamera hakuna we kula bati mambo yote ya kufanya picha picha unafanya na mwarabu wa kususpect it's either unataka kumuibia it's either unataka kutoroka like unataka kumfanyia vitu mbaya mbaya kwa hiyo nyumba na pia wengine wanajadingi watoto If unatafuta kamera it's like unataka umtesea watoto wake watakati ayuko ama utatoroka ama utamwibia vitu zake vitu kama hizo so ni vizuri tu vitu za Mwarabu ziache vile ziko usingangane kutafuta ile kitu ikuhusu na hivyo mtu akijaribu mimi najua utaishi vizuri so wanaitu malizia hapo at least tukarudi siku nyingine tukipata time uh, na guys msisahau kusubscribe kwa MC uh, kwa Dugar Dugar TV show <laughs> na Tia Lady Talk na Susan Eliana ebu atapia channel amazing viewers Sawa so, basi basi. Thank you so much guys for watching. Tuende tukalale. Yeah, to my amazing people. My name is Zed Godiambo and I am a freelancer journalist uh, from Nairobi, Kenya. Meanwhile well, guys, you can also follow me on my YouTube channel at uh, uh, Durgas TV. Come share, uh, watch, like, comment. Yeah, we are doing an amazing job. This is a way to go guys having this kind of wonderful conversation. Having somebody like uh, you know Susan. Susan unajua ni mdomo tu but today she happens to be one of those people and animona kwamba yuko na content hapo kwenye akili. You know brave people are uh,
we have few uh, brave uh, uh, women who can stand and talk to people and we get to listen something from them. Mujo kuna watu wakiongea tu wanapayuka ya. And to my amazing sister, Papa Catherine, you are doing an amazing job and I think uh, you are going to be rewarded abundantly. What you are doing, I think it is recommendable and uh, to my amazing sister, Hapa, Susan, Susan, you need to, you need to, you need to, you need to, uh, uh, you know, keep what you are doing because I've seen you are doing a, a good job. You know, ku, kuongena wasi chana wetu, but now some of them wanna go tough, 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 tough. Uh, like it is, you moro kona, oh, kona kichwangumu, but God knows, eh? So, miniko, uh-huh. sana. I love you guys, eh? Okay. So guys, to Namalizia, in case you have any story to share, you can share with Edgar, that is a uh, uh, Durga TV talk. Nambake unaiza pata pale kwa YouTube, anajiita freelance, ama Edgar on Yambo. Nambake iku hapo kwa TikTok. Kama ni Susan Ediana, nambake ameka pale kwa YouTube channel yake kwa bio. Na unaiza mfuata pale kwa TikTok, anajiita tu Susan Elian. Pale YouTube and a data uh, challenge talk. So in case you have any kind of story, make sure you reach them. Uh, they can cost you. And you guys, thank you so much for your time. I don't take uh, it for granted. Yeah. Not unless you, you guys have something to add. Expose when you have facts and uh, like you have evidence. Expose. Don't let it go. Expose when you have evidence. Yes, if they can't expose when I got to pay, we can expose anything for you guys. In case you don't go about we will expose it for you and you will be safe. <laughs> mm-hmm. okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye guys. No, Laleni poa Edida. Silali. Nini ni umejishika hivyo Shida? Shida boy. Akwapa Shida boy. Ah by the way I'm tra- I'm traveling to